Hey everyone, I have added vision control for the AR4 robot. This is software version 2.2. Uh, in this new software version, um, I've updated the vision tab to be able to teach and detect objects, you know, just using a basic webcam that the, you know, the software can identify and then the robot can go pick up the parts that you program. Uh, I used a number of OpenCV libraries to get this set up and you can teach as many, you know, objects as you need to do uh, for things like sorting different parts. The software is set up to be able to do like a, a pass fail based on the score. So you can also detect similar objects when they're different sizes and things like that. I'll create a detailed tutorial and put a link to that in the description, but to give you a brief overview, you just go to the vision tab in the software. You can use any webcam and then just hit start camera and that'll bring up a live video feed on the right on what the camera sees. I can hit snap image to grab a screen grab of that. So the first step is I will just zoom in on my pick area and get that as large as, uh, as I can. And then the next thing I'll do is I'm going to put this calibration grid in front of the camera and this is just a uh, a file that's in the software folder you can print this out i'll grab a screen grab of that and to calibrate the uh, camera to the robot you simply click on each of these points the x1 y1 the y2 and the x2 and you see over here these values have all updated to the pixel position that i just clicked on then we'll jog the robot to each of the same respective positions and record those values and input those values right here in these fields over here on the right. And now the camera is calibrated to the robot. The next thing I'll do is I'll put the object that I want to find in the camera's view. And uh, we'll snap an image of that. And then we'll adjust our brightness and contrast till we get a nice dark and uh, uh, smooth uh, background. So once we have a good contrast between our part and our background, we can click mask. And what that'll do is we'll select the area that we want to pick the part and that will mask out everything else. It'll automatically grab the color and of your background, wherever you're picking and put a mask behind it. Then we can simply hit teach object. We'll uh, select the object we want to teach and I'll give it a name and I will just call that um, 
that's a keystone jack so i'll just call it jack and hit ok now from this drop drop down i can find uh, my jack picture and then hit snap and find and so now it will find that wherever we place it in the field of view now to program the robot to pick that part we'll just go back to our main controls tab and at the very beginning of our program we'll use this vision find function and we will um, if it it passes and it finds a good part we'll want it to um, jump to section two and if it fails we want it to jump back to the beginning of section one to try again and so I'll just click that and that puts in the vision find it'll look for the jack um, and then uh, when it does find it and jumps here to the second section all we have to do is um, jog the robot over the part with the part in its original zero position and click move is and teach that position and now the robot will go to that position of where the part is. If you haven't seen this project before, the AR4 robot is a shared source project. Uh, the print files, build manual, software, all of that is all free at anandrobotics.com. I also have aluminum parts kits there if you want to build a robot. Um, and you can get all the gearhead motors with encoders direct from Stepper Online, and I'll put links for that as well. Uh, in the description and, and they're on the website as well. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot me an email. All right. Thanks for watching.